Hey everybody, welcome to The Kitchen Noob. My name is Peter and this is the show where I cook recipes from food blogs, magazines, and from my favorite celebrity chefs. So today's recipe comes from Cook's Country Magazine. So not only does Cook's Country have a whole bunch of recipes in it, but it also has awesome product reviews so that you can get the best ingredients for your uh, dishes. It also has uh, product reviews for kitchen gadgets so that you can upgrade the gear in your kitchen, cook only with the best. And also it's full of tips and tricks that you can use so that you can up your cooking game. So I got this magazine subscription for Christmas and uh, I gotta say it's an awesome gift. So if you're looking for a gift for the cook in your life, this is perfect. Also, it'll pay for itself because I'll bet you'll get some uh, free meals out of it. If you're interested in ordering a subscription, there's an Amazon link below. It'll walk you right through the process. So before we begin our sausage stuffed acorn squash, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Share this video with all of your friends and family and hit the notification button so that when I crank out a new video, you will be the first to see it. Also, there is The Kitchen Noob on Facebook, there is The Kitchen Noob on Instagram, and there is The Kitchen Noob on Pinterest. If you're interested in more content, pictures, all sorts of cool stuff, it's all on there. Go and check those out. All right, come on back into my kitchen. Let's go have some fun cooking sausage stuffed acorn squash. So we're gonna start with our Italian sausage. We have eight ounces here. We're gonna remove the casing from it by cutting a slice down the middle. And then I'm going to break it up and put it into a bowl. This will help with the breaking up process later when we're trying to brown this. I'm using a chicken sausage here for a lighter option. You can use pork sausage if you like. I just don't like how greasy it is and we're also not that big pork eaters. So that was the first one done. And do the same with the other two. And yes, that that piece of casing there is really gross and I'm not even going to try to describe it. To prepare the acorn squash, I first cut a small sliver off the top of the squash to stabilize it while I was cutting the squash in half. My first attempt, my squash wasn't stable on the cutting board and I didn't quite get it in half, so this helped a lot. To deseed it, I just went around the inside part with a spoon and separated those membranes from the squash. And then from there, I was just able to scoop it all out in one big swoop and just take care of the few remaining little seeds that are in there. And here's our four halves. I sprayed these with some cooking spray. This is avocado oil. You can use anything, olive oil, uh, Pam, canola oil, whatever you have. Season this with salt and pepper, but don't go too heavy. The squash is a very delicate flavor. And if you over salt, You'll definitely notice it, and if you put too much pepper, it'll also take over. It'll overpower the squash. The squash is going to go into the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes until it's fork tender. Here I'm showing you I cut off the bottom, just the, a little bit of the peel, just so they sit stably on the pan while they're in the oven. Next is the prep for our stuffing. I have four ounces of sourdough bread weighed out, or about two cups by volume. I'm gonna cut that into three quarter inch cubes. Next up is our Granny Smith apple that adds a nice tart flavor to our stuffing. We're gonna use the same technique as our acorn squash and slice a small sliver off the top. And then we're gonna go around and cut chunks around the core to get nice uh, apple quarters. Then we can dice it or chop it into about the same size pieces as your bread, about three quarters of an inch or so. So with your onion, just like the acorn squash and the apples, you can chop off the top bit to make it easier to peel the outer layers. And we're gonna slice this and chop this into similar size pieces as your apple and your bread. And if you're like me and you don't have the, the best knife skills, be sure to take your time and pay attention. 
don't get hurt. Next up for our stuffing is our fresh sage leaves. I just picked these off of a stem and I'm trying to stack them up. I was going to attempt to ship a knot here, but they didn't want to roll. But stacking them up still helped me chop them. I love the smell of fresh herbs when you're cutting them. This smelled very medicinal, almost like eucalyptus. We're just going for a nice fine chop here. We need about a tablespoonful. Beautiful. Measure out your dried cranberries. Uh, the recipe calls for a third of a cup. I used a half because, uh, you know, I'm gonna eat a couple. And lastly is one cup of chicken broth. And that's it for our prep. Let's go to the stove and start cooking. A Little bit of olive oil in our preheated medium high pan and we're gonna add our chicken sausage to start browning and once we get our sausage broken down to about the size we want we can add our onions apples and sage immediately and just let that cook giving it the occasional stir After about 10 minutes or so, everything will be nice and brown and soft. You'll want to add your one cup of chicken broth, followed by your cranberries. Once we reach that simmer, we want to start adding our bread. And then stir it up to incorporate the bread. Make sure it's nice and soft soak up all that broth. When your stuffing's finally finished and your acorn squash is finally done baking, you'll want to convert the oven to a broiler and start preheating that while you're filling up the acorn squash halves. You'll find that you'll have some stuffing left over, most likely, which is fine because when we were eating it we uh, wanted a little extra stuffing anyway, so that worked out fine. And off we go into the oven, under the broiler, uh, the top rack is about 8 inches from underneath the broiler burner and we're going to go about 5-6 minutes on this. You don't want to burn it, but you do want some nice browning on the top. And after broiling, here we have our final sausage stuffed acorn squashes ready for plating, photography, and of course we're going to eat these. They look so good. So there we have it folks. There is our sausage stuffed acorn squash. It's very easy to make. It was very rustic. It was reminiscent of something you would find in the fall or around Thanksgiving time, it being squash and stuffing. But it's a nice dreary, rainy, cold February night, so it was very warm, very comforting. Needless to say, Jen and I ate all four halves of that, so it was quite delicious. Uh, I hope you had fun watching me make it, and I hope you have fun making it yourself at home. So before we take off tonight, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, share with all your friends and family, and uh, hit the notification button too so you get up to date on the most recent content. Also, be sure to check out The Kitchen Noob on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram because this week I'm going to be posting other photos including a beef wellington I made over Christmas holiday. It's awesome. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have fun in your kitchen. Bye.